voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. I don't need feminism. Honestly, I don't. Everything's going great for me right now. Why would I need feminism? Well, of course you don't need feminism. You don't need an outdated ideology that already achieved its goals years ago. Just like how we don't need white nationalism because we already have all the rights. Hmm. I mean, if you're still concerned about oppression, let me ask you this. Does this woman look oppressed to you? Maybe not, but I do know someone who feels like she still is oppressed. I'm looking at you, Sake Roar. Equal opportunities, you say? Well, you could just ask this woman, who reliably informs us that equal opportunities already exist. Well, of course it does. Just look at her. She's well-dressed and looks very nice. I mean, when it comes right down to it, do you really need feminism when your boyfriend treats you right? So, you admit that we don't need a movement that is outdated. Okay, that's great. I guess you don't. And if he doesn't, just get a different boyfriend. Right? These women clearly feel they don't need feminism, and I sure as hell don't need feminism. That's a good boy. So, why am I making a video on you? They have managed to live their lives unhindered by their numbers in the genetic lottery, and so have I. Well, you are pretty privileged, living in the first world country, but I don't see where you're going with this. We don't need feminism. Similarly, I don't need a cure for cancer. Um, okay. Well, that's fine, but there are people who need a cure for cancer, because, you know, it's cancer. It kills you. I've managed, so far, to live a life pretty much unhindered by the lack of a cure for cancer. I also don't need a cure for HIV, or indeed a working HIV vaccine, because I don't have HIV, and I'm not likely to catch HIV. I don't need better provision for people with mental health difficulties. I don't need a new video camera or a second job. Because in all these ways, and many, many more in my life, I have won the lottery. And there is nothing more to it than that. Well, I wouldn't go as far as to say that we've won the lottery. Sure, you might be a cisgender white man who lives in America, but we still face some pretty hard things, like, for example, the divorce court bias towards men, and let's not forget society's double standard when it comes to men. You know how men should not hit girls, but girls should be able to hit men? You know, that sort of stuff. I have just got consistently lucky in an awful lot of ways. And hell, I don't need to do anything about the fact that half the population feels more unsafe than the other half when they walk home at night. I'm sorry, but do you know what half the population feels at night? Have you actually personally talked to 50% of the world? What about the other half? Have you ever borrowed with them? Oh, we're supposed to suck it up, right? I don't need a solution to the mishandling of sexual violence on university campuses. First of all, you're using Mattress Girl as an example. The one case where she was proven a liar and people like yourself still side with her because even if you ruined the life of a man who was accused of rape, you're still more sympathetic to that liar. Second of all, those statistics have been thoroughly debunked time and time again. I don't need anyone to stop the rape epidemics that break out in third world countries. Because you care so much about the third world countries. Maybe if you stop focusing on how Halloween is sexist or racist and things like banning the word bossy, you might actually do some good in your pathetic life. And I don't stand to gain anything directly if the majority of Indian medical graduates didn't immediately stop working and get married as soon as they finished their qualifications instead of providing the services to their economy and to their people for which they've been trained. What does it matter to me if out of the top 100 companies listed under the London Stock Exchange, only seven of them have women in the top jobs? Because diversity is far more important than someone's performance? For fuck's sakes, dude. Do you even know the, who the second richest person on this planet? I'll give you a hint. She has her own show and has her own magazine named after her. And why should it make any difference to me that the role of a father is less highly valued by society than the value of a mother? Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, jeez. I wonder if men could just not be parents. Because, you know, men could just walk out of parenthood and have to pay no fucking fine for it. I've won all these lotteries. I've lucked out enormously. I don't need feminism. So what's the point of your video then? But the world is an awful lot bigger than me. Yet no female feminist will admit that. And the world's needs are an awful lot bigger than my needs alone. 
Well, of course. But you're not doing diddly shit about it. And it's so much bigger than me. It's bigger than any of us. I am a feminist. You are a moron.